Sunday everyone! It's time for another grocery haul. Every Sunday we like to meal prep and go grocery shopping so we feel really ready for the week. Um, you're going to see two different kinds of meals in my grocery shopping hauls and in my meal plans because I am on a weight loss journey and my boyfriend is on a weight gain journey. So what's healthy for one isn't always healthy for the other. So we have similar foods but we try to make it work with both of our goals in mind. So um, I'm going to put up a quick picture of our meal plan today. Um, so enjoy! Here's this week's meal plan. You can um, pause the video and look a little closer. Breakfast is the same. Lunch switches on and off between two things and dinners are always different. So this is the full grocery haul and you can see um, it's quite a lot of food. We went to two stores. We went to Harris Teeter so we bought most of this from Harris Teeter. Um, these last two things we went to BJ's and stocked up on some stuff that we needed um, kind of in bulk. So we spent um, $240 at Harris Teeter and then we spent $40 at BJ's. So the whole grocery haul is about $280 for the entire week. So let's start over here. So um, if you've been following me for a while, you know we always have pizza on Fridays. So Jordan got this Red Baron pizza. We went with everything bagels this week instead of blueberry for his um, breakfast. We decided to buy some chicken breast fillets just to throw in the freezer and have as an extra protein for Jordan to add to any of his meals um, that we have during the week. One of our meals has this risotto. Um, it's actually farro, but it's supposed to taste like risotto. We haven't tried this before, so we're excited about that. We have some quick rice, some veggies to roast, some carrots, some cheese, brown eggs, they were on sale. We have some salmon burgers for one of our lunches. Seven zucchinis, we have a lot of zucchini on our meal plan this week, so we got seven of those. Some peppers, some tuna, which is our fish of choice this week. Some lentils and some frozen blueberries. We have some avocados, these were hard to find some um, avocados that were not super mushy or super hard so hopefully these will work out. We were almost out of bouillon so we got this. We like to have this just on hand if we need veggie broth for anything or um, if a recipe calls for chicken broth or beef broth we usually just use this instead so it's good to have just in case we need it. Um, Jordan snacks. I've never used these before, but um, I need a new conditioner and I haven't had shampoo in a while, so I decided to go with both of these. They smell really good. Um, we got some boiled peanuts for Jordan to snack on and some oat milk for him to use for his um, protein shakes. We got some quick chicken to add to one of our meals this week. And we also got some deodorant because deodorant was on sale this week. It was buy one, get one free. So uh, we went with these two different flavors, one for me and one for, for Jordan. I said flavors like we're going to eat them. I guess that they're more like scents. We have some thick cut bacon and our frozen vegetables. We have broccoli florets and green beans. And we're going to have a tofu stir fry this week. We also got, over in this corner, we got some egg beaters. This is going to be for breakfast and also my egg white pizzas. Some peanut butter for me. We have some for our dog, but I didn't want to use the same one, so I decided to get our own thing of peanut butter. Uh, this is our favorite yogurt. We get this for snack. If you haven't tried this, this is a really high protein yogurt and it tastes really good. Um, some rolls for one of our meals this week. This is a dressing that's going to go in a pasta salad. We have brown rice just to keep on hand for uh, Jordan to add some extra carbs to his dinners. We have been looking for Quest protein powder for a while. Um, our store has been out for almost a month, so we finally saw this and decided to grab it even though we didn't really have any plans for it. Got some chicken sausage for dinner. This mashed cauliflower uh, with cheddar and bacon is also for a dinner. Um, I 
I've never tried this kind before, this flavor, so I'm really excited about that. We have mushrooms. These are always on our list of staples for the week. I use them on my um, pizzas at the end of the week. These are gonna go in a pasta salad. This is Jordan's fig bars he likes to snack on. And then we also have some tuna over here and that's for our pasta salad as well. It's gonna be for six meals, which is why we have six cans. And then these few things are the things that we got at BJ's. So it's not a lot, but it was $40. Um, we went to go get some protein bars. I eat about one protein bar a day and they can be quite expensive when you buy them at the grocery store just individually. So we decided to go with the Quest ones. Um, and I haven't actually tried either one of these flavors. So I'm really hoping I like them since there's 14 of them in there. We got some bulk cauliflower rice because we have this in a lot of our um, recipes this week. And then um, my nutrition advisor decided to recommend these Clio bars. So I'm really excited to try these um, just as like a little dessert before, you know, the nighttime. So they, they taste like cheesecake. So I, I like them already. I'm excited about them. So that is the full haul. It's $280 worth of groceries. And keep in mind, this is just for two people. This is for me and my boyfriend, Jordan, for a week's worth of dinners, lunches, and breakfast. So it's quite a lot, but it's definitely better than going out to eat. So I think this is gonna be really fun to eat. I'm really excited about the recipes, and I, I look forward to meal prepping. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. I'm really excited to get started on my meal prep. I gotta get lunches and breakfast ready for the week, so I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.